Okay, hey, it's Tom with the Fujinet Project, and I wanted to record a quick video showing an upcoming browser uh, being written by Dan Blevins, uh, aka Gibstov on Atari Age. It is a hypertext browser, which he is codenamed Neon. And Neon is working on a special uh, Atari specific hypertext document format. So, uh, with that, we'll just kind of show where things are at at the moment. You can load this yourself over on atariapps.erata.online and go to the networking folder and go to Neon. Mount it in drive one. Mount it read only, please. And mount the result. Go to boot. Okay, as you can see, still very early days. We can read documents and we can make them as well. Now, Neon itself uses the end device. It uses the CIO functions of the end device. So documents can be stored either on local storage, such as the D device, or they can be read over the network using the end device. And to really bring that point home, we've stored a couple of uh, documents over on a web server that we are going to access over HTTPS with the following URL. You can do this too. If I can type correctly, that would be great. So full URL and it's in the Fuji test folder. And the index is called index.doc. So with that, we take and Oop, sorry. I have to tell it read first. <laughs> Silly me. Read the instructions, Tom. And look at that. It's loading the document over HTTPS. That's encrypted, by the way. That's SSL, TLS, bringing the document into the Atari. And there we go. We can use the joystick at this point to move around and select different items. Wait for my wireless joystick to pair. And you can flip through into different documents. You can move down into the document and you can see more. For example, we can go look at this graphics okay different types of graphics so we can mix and match display lists set specific things uh, we can use GTIA modes on the same screen here that's actually very nice uh, we have the ability to take and load custom fonts and multicolored characters we even have the ability to do player missile graphics and display list interrupts uh, man that is just amazing good job man and of course you can go down in and, and look more into the documents now this is where the first bug actually happens right now because it looks like we're only passing in the first 16 characters of the file name uh which of the, of the whole device spec which this is considerably longer so this will fail but it will try to load it and you can see because the, the device spec is incorrect here, it can't find it. Uh, so more to come. <clears throat> and apparently, yeah, let's see, there's, a, there's an editor in this. So, of course, you can put these documents anywhere. I don't think I have. Ah, okay. So it looks like I need, I don't have WebDave uh, installed on that particular drive, but mm, yes, you'll be able to do that. Anyway, so I'm going to cut the, I'm going to cut the video here. Until next time, guys, have fun.